All right, y'all. We are here today with Will Brennan on the Soda Citizen podcast, our first ever episode. And so Yay. we had to have our special guest, Will Brennan. Um, so real quick, Will, like part of the backstory on this podcast is to have people in Columbia that are movers and shakers and politicians and wannabe politicians and old politicians and everybody in between to kind of sit down with us and and kind of tell us what's going on. Like, give us like an insider view of like what's going on in Columbia. So we know you just got elected city council, which we're going to dive into here in a little bit. Um, but first, you've been doing a lot in Columbia well before running for city council, mm-hmm. mainly, you know, with um, the animal mission and the peanut boil. So kind of give us a little history on your involvement with like the animal mission and all that. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I, I went to um, Drew High School, class mm-hmm. of 1998. There you go. And applied to several colleges. Uh, none of them were USC affiliated because <laughs> I just felt like I needed to get out of Columbia, right? right? Go mm-hmm. experience uh, other cities and ended up in Raleigh. Raleigh's a cool city. Yeah. I'm sure y'all been to Raleigh. You mm-hmm. travel the world. So, um, you know. <laughs> me, I have to stay uh, here and work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, some of us are kept. Somebody's right. trying to pay the light bill. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> Raleigh was a really cool city at the time. Uh, it, it reminded me a lot of Columbia. So going to college for <laughs> uh, four and a half. Mm-hmm. Years in Raleigh. Hey, gets the best of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I saw it start to grow. So I start to prosper. And a lot of that had to do with, you know, economic development initiatives that had been put in place as far back as the 60s. The, the, the research triangle didn't happen overnight. Right. Mm-hmm. No doubt. So um, I remember all my, my uh, classmates coming out of college just making like sixty to $100,000 going to work for the Nortels, all those mm-hmm. old school. Mm-hmm. Uh, bubble companies. And um, so that went away before I graduated. So uh, <laughs> moved move back to Columbia and just, you know, started started to, to kind of piece together a track forward. Yeah. But I did, I made sure that I got involved in the community, nonprofits, um, city commissions all along the way. Yeah. And I think that is very, very important mm-hmm. for anybody, right. any, any aged um, resident of Columbia, be involved, yeah. be engaged. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, people that aren't engaged. They just don't know the outlets to get engaged. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of wonderful nonprofits out there that are, mm-hmm. that are begging for people to, to come out and help out. Yeah. So that was always in the back of my mind, do something, right. you know, uh, got involved with the animal mission very early. I guess I was. Yeah, you've been with them for a while. Yeah. Mid twenties ish. Um, and just helped them grow. Yeah. And, and just, um, I, I was president for a little bit and then, um, you know, well, we worked, worked up a, a structure to bring, to bring folks along. Right. And so now we have kind of that, a better path for our board to be involved because the biggest, I guess the biggest thing, how you lose engagement with nonprofit boards is just giving them, them nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they have to it. feel, you know, people need to feel involved like yeah. they're contributing. So True. I think that's very important. So, um, yeah, if, 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 if you're out there, you're looking for something to do, there's a lot of outlets to get involved, yeah. I would say. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So the peanut boil kind of came out of this, and this is one of my local Columbia, like just favorite events of the mm-hmm. year. Um, <laughs> happens to usually fall around my birthday, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um, but like the peanut boil, that just, I mean, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's just literally, I mean, I might get it wrong, but like, a peanut boiling competition. It is. I mean, what it comes down to. I mean, you just think the structure of a chili cook-off. Yeah. But with boiled peanuts. Replace with boiled peanuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's, you know, it's a wonderful way to raise money. You mm-hmm. sell per bag. Uh, all uh, Most of the money uh, goes towards um, the spay-neuter program yeah. that the Animal Mission does a wonderful job yeah. of. And that's usually in September, right? On Divine mm-hmm. Street? Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah, yeah. September, November, usually an off, uh, off weekend or a traveling weekend for the USC Fighting Gamecocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you yes. go. So with... Um, the animal mission, and I'll wrap it up on these guys, but what, what's kind of the mission behind the animal mission? Like, what is the, the goal? What is the animal mission? Ooh, <laughs> what is the animal? <laughs> Thanks for that. The mission of the, an- no, I'm just kidding. The animal mission <laughs> is essentially the fundraising arm of the city shelter. It's a separate nonprofit okay. with the mission of uh, raising money to supply all citizens in Richland County with a free spay neuter voucher for their animal. Hmm. Um, the euthanasia rates in a lot of shelters of, uh, municipalities the size of Columbia right. was out of control for a long time. We were, you know, it's amazing the statistics of yeah. what two cats uh, and, and two, two dogs, dogs can, can do, do over the course of two years yeah. when it comes to putting out letters <laughs> and multiplying pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so this was our, our way of, you know, uh, trying to control 
the um, pet overpopulation. Yeah. Right. So it's been in effect for over, I believe, over 10 years. You'll have to check, check on that. <laughs> We've raised over a million and a half dollars. We are very close to getting to what is called the no kill status oh, wow. for a shelter. Yeah. And that's a certain percentage, 25 Thirty percent. I'm not yeah. exactly sure. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, typical, typical marketing like no kill, but we do still. But yeah, I mean, there's animals that can't be rehabilitated yeah. And, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so we are getting more in line with uh, a lot of the more progressive cities when it comes to that, which yeah. is great. Um, and a lot of that could not happen without the animal missions uh, projected earnings of, of um, contributions right to fund that program. Of course. Mm-hmm. So you can go to your private vet and take the voucher and they'll yeah. take it. You can go to the Humane Society yeah. um, and get the surgery done there. Yeah. There is a program now to do feral cats, hmm. which is a big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they return them back to the here. colony. Marilyn's trying uh-huh. to feed it. We're not letting her. Well, don't, no, no, Natasha. don't feed it. She's not feeding it. <laughs> Trap it, get it. And they, they put a little notch in their ear to say that the surgery's been done hmm. and they return them to the colony. Hmm. Uh, they usually. Colony. Yes, hmm. I know some cat um, feral cat <laughs> jargon. If you really want to get into it. Well, what I thought was interesting, I've got two mutts, and one's a, um, I adopted from my sister in law, and she was spayed in Charlotte, and they actually tattooed her with Ooh. like a female symbol. So I took my dog to get spayed. I'm like, she's going to get tattoos. It's awesome. Yeah. They didn't tattoo her. No. But I'd like for them to start. If you don't like, I'll even sponsor and they can like tattoo the art of real estate on the dog. <laughs> on all there the you feral go. cats. Anything with the feral cats. <laughs> there you go. That's an artist real estate cat right there. <laughs> No, but I do want to say thank y'all so much for y'all's um, continued support. Yeah. Y'all mm-hmm. have been such wonderful sponsors of the Animal Mission and many other nonprofits, by the way. Yeah. Um, and I know some it. folks here yeah, are on our right. boards mm-hmm. all over. Yeah, yeah. especially mm-hmm. Animal Mission. I'm glad you require that in your mm-hmm. employment here. I'm yeah. just kidding. Mm-hmm. No, we, we actually, as part of our onboarding, is like well, you've got to get out there and, and yeah. help. You've got to do something. Mm-hmm. Um, because honestly, and this is not about us, but like our mission is to be community resources. Yeah. And so part of that is like, great, help people sell houses, help them love Columbia, hence the part of the podcast, mm-hmm. but also get out there and give back. Right. Mm-hmm. So you people aren't going to want to live in a community you don't want to live in. Oh, absolutely. Right. So that's a big part. So yeah, it's half joking, but kind of real other than the tax liabilities for the independent contractor stuff. We won't talk about that. <laughs> so. It's so. highly encouraged to get out there and get involved. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit more about business now. You do some development, some redevelopment, and you've done some things across the state. So like help people and developers or business people that might be thinking about coming to Columbia, like why should they consider Columbia? Like why is this a good place to invest or develop? So I think Columbia is is a wonderful untapped market with a lot of potential. uh, Potential for retail, commercial, office, residential. There's some hurdles that I think we as the city put up yeah. for any uh, interested investment to come to town. There's a lot of capital out there, a lot of, a lot of money looking right. to land. Yeah. And again, y'all travel all over the country. Just well, maybe Maryland. one of you. Just Maryland. Not me. <laughs> you know it's landing in some cities around mm-hmm. us, you know, and you can really feel uh, other munis- munis- municipalities reaching kind of those targets. Right. Um, they're marketing themselves, yeah. I think, a lot better than we are. Yeah. Uh, the permitting process, which is kind of the baseline. Yeah, because um, it's been said, I mean, and I feel, we feel it as small business owners no, here in Columbia. Like, City of Columbia is not the most friendly when it comes to small businesses. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I'm not here to get on a, a soapbox about it, but like I'm interested to see. No, and that was, around. you know, that was a big message on my campaign. Mm-hmm. Interactions with the city need to be easier. Yeah. yeah. A lot easier. We need to get out of our own way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, but not to, to say that we're not, we're just going to let growth happen as growth happens. We need right. smart growth. Right. I'm a big believer in smart growth. Yeah. But you know, we are we're we're an untapped market. Yep. I think everybody says this is the the second biggest economic boom of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it feel that way in Columbia? Nope. Nope. We but got we got good things going. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong. Cranes. You know, I find well, yeah. those cities and there's seven, eight, ten cranes just right. doing work. Right. And they some people judge that on how good the economy is. Right. And by no means I'm not saying uh, Columbia, I want Columbia to be the next Charlotte or right. Nashville. No way. Right. No way. But we just, mm-hmm. we have so much to offer that we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. And there's just simple steps that can be taken. Yep. Just the, the interactions with the city government and county government. Right. Uh, I think you'll see if we get out of our own way, Bull Street will be a wonderful, wonderful destination. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll see our major corridors that uh, have needed some TLC yeah. start to come along. I got, we have Millwood right out yeah. here. Mm-hmm. We've got the two notch and then you know, on the way out to Harbison, you got Decker, St. Andrews. Mm-hmm. There, there's, there's just so many areas 
for for smart growth. Yeah, the, the people, and I think now you know having that conversation on the campaign, right? You're starting to see more people pay attention. You're starting to see politicians know that hey, we got to get out of our own way. Yeah. So that and that's that is working with city staff. Listen, we have a wonderful city you staff. Absolutely do. Like yeah. we did some development out here. Um, mostly legal that they informed us if it wasn't, <laughs> they were awesome. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. seriously, some of the best people I've ever met bar none, not even just at the city, but definitely at the city. They were mm -hmm. awesome. So it's continuing to give them the directive, the give and take to, to, to just get it done. Right. You know, Columbia is known as the place where they just say no and then go from there. Mm -hmm. You look at our friends on the West bank over yeah. there, they're, they, they're taking advantage of yes. our, of our, I guess, uh, driving folks out of town. Yeah. And West Columbia's doing right. some nice things. They are. Yeah. yeah. Cases right? coming up. I mean, yeah. We just did a house in KC. We, we sold it. Went for $252 a foot. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that price anywhere. Mm -hmm. The one is because we're good. But mm -hmm. two, you know, like people are wanting to cross the river now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And they always should have been. Like, it's a great spot. My nephew's going to be looking for a house. He's in college. And that's one of the places that like for college living, like is going to be a good spot. Mm -hmm. The houses are great. The infrastructure is great. The mayor is awesome. Um, she's doing a great job over there too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think so. That kind of answers one of my next questions. And you might want to elaborate, but like, where do you think the next areas of Columbia are going to be revitalized? I know we did the Vista. We're working on North Main. Yeah. Bowl Street is Bowl Street, which I'm a fan of. But like, where do you see like growth, smart growth going? Smart growth, I think, I think we're going to see a wonderful resurgence in five points over the next five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited to bring new retail commercial offerings, yeah. to bring new residential right. offerings mm -hmm. to five points and around five points. Right. I feel like there's a huge market and y'all probably know this for the empty nesters, mm -hmm. right? They want to downsize, mm -hmm. but. And want to stay downtown. Right. But they don't want to go from a big house to a bungalow that they still have to fix up. Right. But, you know, single, yeah. single floor. So I think, I think the downtown market is going to see that mm -hmm. come around. I believe uh, Millwood, I believe lower Millwood mm -hmm. is, is a wonderful um, I guess corridor that is going to happen, mm -hmm. uh, especially it's my goal to work with First Nazareth Church on their big property down there at mm -hmm. the intersection of Gervais and Millwood mm -hmm. to see that come, come through. So it'll be a, a wonderful book in Drew High School and then whatever development mm -hmm. goes down there. And then you'll see, because I guess the biggest thing is you got to get bodies to, to, to a core right. before everything starts to happen, right? So creating that 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 core is a, is a, is something that the city can control. Yeah. Right. What the I, I've 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 said this to I went blue in the face on the <laughs> campaign. What the city wants, the city can get, right. and it's just prioritizing. What are our projects? What are we going to do? How are we going to participate right. instead of throwing a tax incentive at the wall and seeing what comes down? Yeah. Invest in the infrastructure. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. to, that these wonderful developments are going to sit on. Right. Um. Because you know the the more core, uh, I guess, that happens, the more jobs that are created. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, right. Yeah. So that's that's the big thing. Invest in the infrastructure, and everything else will play itself out. And when I say infrastructure, I want to include public safety in that as well. Because right. everybody talks about affordable housing. Yeah, take affordable out and just say safe housing. Right. <laughs> and I think that's 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 the root of it. Yeah, and what's what I've found to be true over the. Um most major markets in the United States is you've got affordable housing. People are focused on that. People are working on that. I'm a commissioner for the housing authority for the state. Like that is a passion of mine. But sometimes what happens is you work on affordable housing and the economy is doing what it does and everybody's at the top and it's the, the forgotten middle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like that. I mean, I was down in Charleston and I think um, somebody doing a 70% of their income down there would get them at $1,200 for a one bedroom condo near John's Jeez. Island. I mean, it's not cheap mm -mm. and like, it's hard to find those places. No, you're so right. That's another thing we can't forget about. And the other thing I want to say is uh, the Waverly district right there at the intersection mm -hmm. of Gervais mm -hmm. and pretty much Millwood. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most beautiful houses in the city. Mm -hmm. We just sold two over there mm -hmm. and they are phenomenal. The yeah. architecture, everything's just beautiful, beautiful. People just forget about that yeah. little section of town. It's a historic right. district. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. houses. Yeah, good old historic districts. We love those. Um, <laughs> so with that being said, um, one thing I like to ask um, our guest, and you being our first guest, you're going to be the first time I've asked it, so this is why I like asking it to see if it actually hits home or not. But people always ask local soda citizens, mm -hmm. like I did that, um, what's the best thing about Columbia? Like if you're just living here and you're talking about um, 
what it's like with you and your family. And you can't say two hours from the beach, two hours from the mountains or an hour from Charlotte because I want to throttle people like that's the worst back. You can compliment. get anywhere from here. <laughs> We're so the like, best stepping stone. <laughs> why should somebody stay in town on a weekend and stay in Columbia? Like what, what have you found over your last year of campaigning that like people love about this place? Yeah, I believe that Columbia has a small town atmosphere with the offerings of a larger municipality. Yeah. And I, I like that mixture. I like the fact that we have a wonderful, you know, university here that brings arts and culture, education, economic development, hopefully one day, yeah. uh, all together. Right. I like that, that we have wonderful districts, depending on your mood, depending on the time of day that you can visit. Yeah. I like our small business networks here, on, not, not only in retail, but um, in innovation. Yeah. I like the fact that we have three rivers that run through our city that it's my goal that's my goal is to is to tap into those right to to really connect citizens to our rivers yeah um so you, if you bring it all together I, I just feel like columbia just it has that it's accessible yeah columbia is yeah. not that bad <laughs> <laughs> well that's one thing i think is is interesting because you've got the main street district i'm sure there's names for them but like the main street uh, Merchants Association. That's the Central Business District. Central Business. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to try and have them on here, so I need to get that right. But you've got Rosewood. You've got Divine Street. They're mm -hmm. trying to start one on here on Millwood. Five mm -hmm. Points does their own stuff, mm -hmm. right? And so it seems like there's so many voices um, advertising for their sh their their hot spot, mm -hmm. but the city's not advertising Columbia. Like you know, Charlotte, we get that a lot, but we get I get the billboards going up and down the interstate of famously hot this, famously hot that, which is mm -hmm. cute. But like, I feel like everybody's vying for everybody's attention, mm -hmm. like vying for people to travel in from the Greenvilles to see what Columbia is about. So right. I'm interested to see where that goes. Yeah, absolutely. But I think it all gets back to, it, it, it's not our job. Well, it is our job. I should take the back. It's not specifically our job as the city to market Columbia. If we put the basics together, make it easy to do business here. Right. Uh, make it make it attractive for for visitors. Right. Make it attractive for investment. Then all that'll come together. I feel like there's five, six, seven things that Columbia thinks we are, mm -hmm. right? So we need to get all these groups together and figure out what it is. Right. And then that's the path forward. On the campaign, I talked about Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yep. You've been to Chattanooga? I have not. My in-laws talk highly. They go all the time. Yeah. They love mm -hmm. it. So 20 plus years ago, the mayor went all in on the river and uh, made that the central focus for the, the city development and many, many... I guess, outlets to happen moving forward. Mm -hmm. And so what you, what you now have is a wonderful, uh, prosperous, busy riverfront with commercial, retail, government offerings. And then the University of um, Tennessee Chattanooga is now a huge growing university. Mm -hmm. Chattanooga has free Wi-Fi for the whole city. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, you've got kids going there for the offerings. It's right. a good education. It's a good quality of life. And there's a good... Uh, there's good access to a future building a small business yeah. and free Wi-Fi, which is yeah. But I but mean, the I thing mean, is, is that innovation, <laughs> that innovative mindset, has brought yeah. in software companies. Mm -hmm. So it, aquarium there too. I think, yeah, right? they got yeah. Going on. So it it's it all gets back to just creating that foundation, offering the best quality of life, yeah. and, and 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 people, investment, everybody will come. So this is off topic, kind of, but. Yeah, I know the university has that space. They're trying to work down by the Coliseum or by um, Colonial Life to go all the way down to the river and build an amphitheater at some point. It's this massive plan. Mm -hmm. Like, how, do you know anything more about that? Just not, maybe not from your official capacity, but are they still working towards that? Is that still on the table or? So the access, I think, is the biggest gotcha. issue with any plan right. to continue down to the river. The penny sales tax from the county, I forget the official name That's of it. That's still a thing, right? Is out, I think it's out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in the headlines in one, <laughs> one form or fashion. But that work, included... Right? Hmm? It didn't work, no, right? It, they, they did it. Yeah, they just didn't use the money to what they were supposed to use it for, right? Okay. Debatable. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. saying. It's, it's, okay. it's out there. Okay. It's out there. <laughs> okay. Will saying he's not going there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw things, something during your campaign, like you and your, your kids or your family, you were trying to hit like every city park. Or oh, city yeah. Parks. Like, <laughs> how, I love the city parks. Yeah. It's like, how'd that go for you? It went, like, it went great. Yeah. I think I hit pretty much everyone in District 3. What's your favorite park? My favorite park would be Hollywood yes, Park. Yes. Our oh, neighborhood that was park. A set up. It is a great but park. But I'll tell you, uh, you talk about a sleeper park. Yeah. yeah. Forget the sleeper restaurant. Sleeper park. Yeah. 
St. Anna Park, um, which is behind, which is right here on Gervais. It's, it's in the um, Lions community. Yeah. It is where behind where the old Gonzalez Gardens mm -hmm. property is. Yeah. It is a wonderful park. Really? I think Thompson had the most fun there. Um, so the goal is to still continue that mission. There's, there's a lot of parks. Do you go mm -hmm. a skateboard park down at the Owens? No, no, no. I don't do extreme he's, sports. He's safety dad. I don't do extreme sports. <laughs> I've got, I've got bad knees. Uh -huh. no. I've always had bad knees. Yeah. No. And Mary Lane can attest to this when, you know, the rollerblading and all mm -hmm. that, uh, X games and all that was popular in middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. You just wrapped yourself up. I didn't do any of it. Mm -hmm. No, nope. I didn't do any of it. I think something else to point out too is we've got some really good, and I'm not a big disc golf player, but mm -hmm. my, my brother-in-law is huge into it and he loves playing down here. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially one in Owens Field and then the one in Earlwood and stuff yeah. like that. There's some, we're going to be working on some videos showcasing that. So oh, nice. that's really good. So, are, you, are you good at disc golf? No, not at all. Yeah, I'm terrible. No, yeah. I uh, lose yeah. more. I don't know if you can actually lose them because they're fluorescent and they're, but I do. Well, yeah, it's easy to lose them at the Owens Field. It's <laughs> yeah, tights it's in the woods. woods yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so kind of to wrap this up, um, I don't know if you had time to kind of dream about Columbia, but where do you see Columbia being in the next five years? If the economy obviously stays on point. Chattanooga. Well, I'd like to see Columbia... <laughs> Realize what we're good at. Yeah. In the economic development game. Yeah. I'd like to see us recruit class A office users, yeah. whatever that industry is, whether it's software. Yeah. I would love to see the, 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 the medical school finally make a decision and go to Bull Street and build a healthcare innovation campus yeah. around what will be a world class medical school. So, you, so I'm like we said earlier, a big Bull Street believer. Sounds like you still have hopes that it's going to become what it was we, intended to be we have to have hope yeah, right yeah i mean <laughs> this is a little too late to turn back yeah <laughs> bull street is is bull street mm -hmm. of you know councils before us yeah mm -hmm. i understand i understand opportunity zones right. i don't know if y'all are familiar mm -hmm. with that as a tool for capital gains yeah. investment offset uh i th and i think that's kind of our biggest issue right we're not as you said we're not marketing what bull street could be right to who could I guess, take advantage yeah. of the tools out there yeah. to, to, to develop it. Yeah. Um, I would love it. Like I said, healthcare innovation based around a, a world-class medical school, which we have, the, what, what number is the international business school here? It's usually number one. Well, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go out, recruit, you know, healthcare innovation from yeah. country, what they're doing in Israel, what they're doing in India. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. So let's attract uh, world-class um, knowledge to, to this little corner of the Southeast. And, really, and, and there's not a lot of, there's people doing that yeah. out there on a, in the U S yeah. you know, Winston Salem's yeah. doing a, a huge healthcare innovation, but it's all based on uh, U S companies. Yeah. I think that, you know, we have all the makings of it. It's just bringing it together. Uh, I, Bull Street, listen, we're in, we're in five, the fifth year of a 20 year plan at right. Bull Street. Yeah. Sometimes it seems the opposite. You know? <laughs> Which I mean, I mean, as you know, and I mean, the viewers may not, but Mary Lane and I are part of a church that's on Bull Street now. We've mm -hmm. renovated and relocated there, and we've got a big check sitting out there on a, mm -hmm. a bet that it's going to work out. And so, um, so far, so good. And it's, I mean, every day there's progress. Yeah, yeah. fingers crossed. Yeah, but it's it's a it it could be a world class. But at the fun. same rate, I don't want to see us just grab the first develop. Correct. That comes along. Like put a big Dave and Buster's in the middle. Well, of or another like car wash. How about that? Let's put a car wash <laughs> on Bull Street. Um, no, they do need car washes. But, that, so. but that's, I think that's Columbia's biggest. We just, we, we grab whatever development comes along. Right. We don't take the time, yeah. like I said, to get back, create the foundation to pick and choose True. what, what we, you know, set to be our future. Yeah. The, um, the rivers, man, mm -hmm. yeah. the rivers are, uh, that's, that's, I don't know if it's five years, 10 years, 15 years, but I, hopefully in my lifetime, we will see the rivers be our, ba our backbone, who we are, you know. Speaking of which, is that Gill Creek Parkway, is that still a thing? It's uh, honestly, man, man, I don't know. There's so many stakeholders. <laughs> yeah. I hear there's money out there for it. Yeah. I went to bat for, for something to happen there. Right. Um, it's, it's, but, but, but again, and we've missed this. Somebody bringing everybody together right. instead of sending everybody to the corners and have them duke it out. Right. Five Points is a wonderful example of that. If we had had proper representation at the time, say, hey, we know something's going on. Let's all get together and figure it out. Right. Instead of litigating it out. Yeah. Which, which the city does a lot, unfortunately. 
So if you think about all the money we spend on litigation, mm-hmm. how many mm-hmm. officers could we pay for? True. Mm-hmm. Could we employ for that number? True. Well, you may not want this, but if people wanted to reach you, are there off? Do you have office hours like City Hall or like an office? Like I don't even know how City Council no, works. I like. don't even know either, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I, my location. website, Vote Will Brennan. I, I'm not official yet until January seventh. Yep. But if you're in District Three, eight zero three six two 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 six two six, um, give me a call. If I can help you again, it, it's it's serving the yep. citizens of District Three. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to get engaged, last question, like. Where would be a good one? Like just, hey, I want to get involved. I know nowhere to start. Instead of me Googling it, should they just go to United Way and just kind of get plugged in there? I would think the core Columbia Opportunity Resource okay. is a good gathering spot okay. for, for people. Uh, if there's a type of cause yeah. that you want to get involved with, uh, heck, give me a call. Yeah. I'll send you in the right direction. Yeah. Us as well, actually. I mean, that's mm-hmm. kind of, we've got clients and and friends and we know just about everybody yeah. with the work we do. That Yeah, that's a good point. Just mm-hmm. reach out to us too. Yep. And, but politicians always have better ideas than we do. So <laughs> it works out. So. Well, Will, we appreciate you being on our first ever Thanks uh, so much. Soda Citizen podcast. Appreciate it's it. Catch on. You're our first Soda Citizen. <laughs> Yay. Well, thank you for being engaged, Mary Lane. <laughs> you know, my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> thank you. And thanks thanks again to y'all for, for not just the animals, but everything y'all do in the community. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thanks. So. It's a big group effort. So thanks. If y'all need more from Will, you've got his website, you've got his number. So give him a shout and he can help you out. And he only want to, wants to work with people in uh, District 3. So don't call that him. That is not true. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, just, I was going to say, he seems like he wants to do more for Columbia and just his district. So mm-hmm. uh, if you need to shoot him an email, I'm sure he can get to the right place. Appreciate it. So yeah, thanks, Will. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in to our Soda Citizen podcast. We hope that you found the content relevant and exciting to listen to. We'll be dropping these as frequently as we can. And if you have any ideas that you'd like to see featured here, feel free to drop us a link. Yeah. And thanks to Andrew Miles for being the greatest producer we have in our company. Um, So we hope you found this relevant. Keep an eye out or an ear out because we're going to be dropping these pretty frequently. So see you soon.